In this section of the video series, we are going to take a look at everything there is to know about invoices here in FreshBooks. So to get started from my FreshBooks home screen here, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the invoices section. You'll notice that once we are in this section, we've got a number of subsections, but this first one is just called invoices, and this is where all of our invoices are going to be listed, whether they've been sent, paid, or are just in the draft stage right now. We can view all of them down here. We also have the reoccurring section where we can take a look at our invoices that are scheduled to reoccur every month. We can look at invoices that we've received. So this is generally going to be from your contractors. If they are invoicing you directly through FreshBooks, you can look at your received invoices here and you can automatically have those listed as expenses here in FreshBooks. You can take a look at all of the invoices that have been paid. So if a client pays for an invoice, it will show up here. And this is also where you can add a new payment, which we'll be looking at later on in this video series. You can assign credits to your clients. So if you have a discount that you want to assign or if a client paid ahead for something, you could go ahead and you could credit their account so that on their next invoice, you can then apply that credit from the total of the invoice. And then we can go ahead and we can take a look at invoice items. And what these are, we're going to look at in more detail later on in this video series, but these are basically things that you do for multiple clients over and over again so that you don't have to type everything out and create a new item on every invoice. If you do consulting services for multiple clients, you can create one item called consulting services. You can specify the hourly rate for that service. And then when you go to create an invoice where that service is going to be listed, you can just quickly add it without having to specify all the details about it every single time. So stay tuned for the following videos in this chapter where we go into detail about all of these different sections here within invoices.